everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the smallest, most luxurious Class A gas motorhome in the entire RV industry. This is a 2022 Holiday Rambler Vacationer Model 33C. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you guys three things we love about the Vacationer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to show you the Vacationer 33C, which is sister products to the Fleetwood Bounder 33C. There is just a few differences, which I'll explain in the video. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going great. We are here in Texas. Yes! And we are just excited to be able to bring you guys new floor plans and RVs you don't see. Yep. But I am partial to the Holiday Rambler in Fleetwood, so I hope you guys enjoy. Yes, and in addition to the units that we don't often see much is units that we do see often and quite frankly some of our favorite units. So Andrea, let's begin! Model is Vacationer 33C. But the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 34 feet 3 inches. This is the Vacationer. It is Holiday Rambler's top of the line. And again, it's sister products to the Fleetwood Bounder 33C. Also the Fleetwood Southwind 34C. They're all the same floor plan. The difference, the main one, is going to be the front headlight design. This one has more of a boxy look where the Fleetwood versions have more of angled eyes and a little bit more curvature but again the quality is the same everything's the same nice big front windshield here full body paint standard and it does have the mobile eye collision mitigation coming on down the side here we do have chrome mirrors on your left side and right side with cameras integrated in them because this is a 2022 it does have the 7.3 liter v8 it is the godzilla engine 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque and then look at these tires and drain little michelins 235-80 r 22.5 with those shiny alcohol rims and here's what's super awesome about holiday rambler slash fleetwood now you can now option this motor home with liquid spring if you guys don't know what liquid spring is where the heck have you been liquid spring is the best four point suspension system for a motorhome. It turns this gas motorhome driving experience into a diesel motorhome driving experience. We have what, two or three videos dedicated to Liquid Springs. We will link them right up there. That's of Will and Jen driving uh, a Fleetwood with Liquid Springs on it. So make sure you guys check out that video and listen, if you plan on keeping, if you're the type that keeps your RV for a while, it's worth the upgrade to get liquid springs. If you're the type that trades it in every year, don't even worry about it. But it makes it so you don't need to buy a diesel motorhome. You don't need to spend an extra $100,000 on the diesel to get the motorhome ride. That's why we love liquid springs. Ain't that right, Andrea? That's right. Full body paint standards, beautiful. Frameless windows. I love that. And right there, we do have an awning right there. Now what Holiday Rambler does and Fleetwood does, they don't use Asdale and they don't use Luon. They actually have one solid thick piece of fiberglass with aluminum locking constructions for the framing. So this is, drives perfectly like a box. It's just built very, very good. Construction wise, you know what I'm saying? The quality. Yeah. Right here we have the Sansui TV and sound bar. Nice aluminum slam latch doors power system you see right down there that's your propane quick connect if you do want to have a grill on the outside okay right here very nice storage compartment pass Andrea. through yes and i love how it's not carpet mm -mm -mm. very nice nice hot water heater there nice hot water heater with the paint pattern continue on it we're spending this type of money just continue with the paint job on that i love that Right here's going to be your propane, Andrea. And then Miss Jen, bing, please insert all the specs of that motorhome, of this motorhome, there so everybody can see who's watching on television. And then look at this, more storage. Nice. And more storage. 
Dre, can you hit me that ladder so I can climb up on the roof? No, Matt. Oh, okay. It's raining. No, no I roof climbing. I don't climb. think so. Sorry, America. No roof climbing today. I, 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 I got to put a stop to it right now. Yes. Uh, coming around the back, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Looks fantastic. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Uh, backup camera there, and there is the ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. And as you can see, because the rain, we are not gonna climb up on the roof, but there is solar on the roof. It is a one-piece TPO roof with two air conditioning units. Andrea, you win today. Yes. Right here, we do have a nice 50 amp power cord. An electric reel is optional on the Vacationer, nice. not standard. Right here's your own and 5500 generator. Very nice. Oh, there's, oh, the wet bay. Wet bay here. Uh, water filtration system, okay. little outdoor shower, black tank flush. Very nice. Some more storage. Just oh, a little wow. bit more. A little bit more. You know why, okay. Andrea? Because you can never have enough. You can never have enough. Okay, the other side. Yes, the other side of the storage here. Look at that. And some more storage. And some more storage. Andrea, you know what I call this? A storage machine. For real. And then right there, Andre, this is where you fill up your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Well, Andre, it's freezing cold and wet yes. outside. <laughs> but the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it does look even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Careful there. It's hard to skip on these rocks. It is. And let's get the cargo carrying capacity. 2,166 pounds. Okay. All right. Wow, slide is in. Okay, not bad at all for a walkway here. No, not bad. Look at this, all. plenty of room to walk through. You can open your fridge. Now, it does get a little tight through here, so you just turn to the side. Let's see, we can get into the bathroom. And, yay, you can still use the bed with the slide in. And Andrea, while the slide outs are coming out, let's take a quick second to thank our sponsor, RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. with this motorhome. Everybody knows Hottie Ramblers slash Fleetwoods is Andrea's favorite when it comes to Class A's. It's just a, a little bit of a classier, higher end look, you know what I'm saying? I love it. Andrea, let's start right up here. Mm, I love this. Right up here, Andrea, I feel like a commander. Got my auto leveling here, cup holders here, camera screen there. Nice 7.3 liter V8, good dash and everything. Again, the mobile eye collision mitigation. Right here, we do have our screen, and there is a cubby underneath there with three cup holders. Andrea, why don't you sit in my co-captain seat? Yes. Okay. Oh, I love it. Yes. Plenty of room. You have this for when you need to work on the go. Yes. You got a cup holder here. Very nice. Look, 
daytime yes. and privacy MCD shades. Very nice. There's also a Wi-Fi Ranger on the roof. We got a cubby up here. Then yep. we have the slide to the left. Slide cabinet. TV. And then this one here, we slide to the right. Very nice. Power fans there. And again, the MCD shades throughout, very, which is very, very nice. Very pretty cabinetry too. Yes. And then we, we do have a bunk over the cab. Um, five, holds 500 pounds. There we go. A height aloft. Yes, ma'am. And as you can see, there is a ladder that goes there. And look at that. Really good size bed. Yes. And you've got the cubbies there on the side. Yep. And when the bed comes all the way down, those lights there. Um, and then there's also like a little privacy curtain you can add. And the air conditioning is ducted Very through. Very nice. To the bunk over the cab area, which is important if you do block that off just for some circulation. And we did forget to mention that both seats do swivel. Yes, ma'am. there is a pedestal table that goes there. And look at that cup holder there. So when the seat is swiveled, you do have a cup holder there, which is very nice. And I do want to point out over the door, yes. there is a valance and another shade. How do you so, like the valances? Very cute. They're the uh, Art Deco baseball field. <laughs> did you show this? No. Okay, just a uh, slide out room, inverter, bed control. Very nice. And then over here, the dinette area. All of our favorite dinettes. Mm -mm -mm. The most comfortable. Andrea, most comfortable. Very, very nice. This table does drop down to make a bed. Yeah, show a little bit of this. The power platform, exclusive. Look at that. They try to get a little dog action. Because everybody knows in marketing, when you have a dog, the advertisement performs better. So I love that. Right here, we do have a... Um, cup holders. Cup holders. And this dinette does drop down to make a bed. Let's Andrea. show the cabinets, huh? And it's a golden retriever. Aww. Statistically, that's a, a good advertisement move by Ford. And then up here we have storage. We're not Ford by Holiday Rambler. Got and then, yes. yeah, you got a nice big window there. Power there and everything. And then this table does drop down to make a bed. First, drawer underneath, okay? drawer underneath right go like that bam bada bing bada boom that is nice and it's super nice easy to set and up it feels like you're sitting on a sofa right because it has springs in it andrea that's exactly what i mean <laughs> It is super comfortable. But look because, how easy it is to put down, everybody. Like, you don't have to worry about putting the cushions together and, and you know, it popping out. It right. really is nice. And not only that, Andrea, so many times the dinettes are plywood in a, like, two-inch thick piece of cushion. The, as Andrea said, this actually has springs in it, so it's designed like a sofa. I love that. Speaking of sofas, this has the optional feeder seats. Very nice. Got, call it the parachute recliner. Oh, yeah. Cup holders here, remote holder. Very nice. Look at this cabinet here. Nice little end table there. Yes, ma'am. With a shelf. Nice window on the side. And Andre, please show that cabinetry above. We've got lots of storage up here, as you can see. Very nice. And then over here, Andrea, we do have nice storage right here. TV, sound system, and then check out this fireplace. Very pretty. What is nice about the fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity, and I like the little uh, fireplace around it. All right, and Andrea, would you like to show us the kitchen? Yes! But before I do, I just want to remind everybody, we are now with RVR, yes. which is a nationwide uh, number of dealerships yes. in the country. So if you live anywhere, California, Washington, Texas, Florida, Maine, we can help you. We have a dealer near you. Yes. So make sure you go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out that contact yes. form and we will be here to help get you guys a great price, great service, and quite frankly, the best RV Absolutely. buying experience. Andre, show us the kitchen. Oh, yes, definitely. Look how pretty this is. Yes. I love the cabinetry, adjustable shelf. Very nice. Very, nice. Very cute backsplash. Yes. Colors. Great job, panoramic window. Good color as well. Pretty, look at this, solid surface countertop. Very nice with the double sink. Okay. And then we have an extension here. Beautiful. And let's see, what we got going on over here? We've got cabinet, okay. adjustable shelves. 
sponges and a place for your trash can. Yes. Three drawers. One, two, and three. Very good. And then above here we have a cabinet. Yes. And then we've got the convection microwave. Mm-hmm. And then we have these heavy great things, whatever they are. Not my favorite. But as you can see, you have a three burner propane cooktop. To Very put nice. It. And let's see. These things are heavy. Yes, ma'am. Oh, they gave you an oven. Whoa. Wow. That's a good size. It sure is. Okay. And then we got a residential um, Samsung refrigerator that runs off your inverter and your shore power. Good Very size. nice. Nice size freezer. Yes, ma'am. And I think over here would be your pantry. Yes. We always forget about this one. <laughs> Look, I love these. Mm. I, I like drawers like that. And then you got adjustable shelves down there. I love it. So lots of storage. Andrea, it's now time for the ha for the full bath. So a lot of people might be wondering what's the difference between a 35K and a 33C. 35K is bath and a half, so the half bath is here. Thir um, and then the full bathroom's in the rear. This one's a little bit shorter, and it's only one bath. And it's all right in here. Okay. okay. So first and foremost. Look at that, a nice size shower. Nice one piece fiberglass shower. Okay, it is what it is. It's a little small, but definitely doable and definitely a hundred times better than a radius shower. Okay. Over I here. love the sink over there. Yes, we have a medicine cabinet here. Good size sink cabinet here yes good size i mean it's a good size bathroom right and again if people want luxury and they want short this is one of the shortest or the shortest that you can get porcelain this is a prime poop position bing very nice no doubt about it that's a that's a no doubter. Okay, so over here, look at this. We have the uh, sliding door to go into the master bedroom. Very nice. Over here, we Ooh. do have wardrobe space. That's a big wardrobe. Yeah. And then over here. Oh, let me get over here. Wow, more wardrobe space. Very big and nice. That's a wardrobe for me. And then right here, storage behind the TV. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. Nice little um window yeah countertop area six drawers there very nice and then there's cabinets under here too yep there's drawers. yep that one's not a storage compartment and then over here too yep oh oh there sorry we go. two drawers there what's in here a combo washer nice. and dryer and another cabinet up there look at that so much storage in here tons of storage I love the cabinetry with the details. Like, it's not just white cabinetry, but the inline colors or whatever just makes it look really nice. And then Andrea. Oh, there it is. That's a $104 trash can. Got a nice king size bed here with the posing windows. Very nice. Good. They got little nightstands here with electrical outlets, storage above the bed, CPAP station as well. Oh, look you at the light the in there. Yep, you got the plug and then this. Very nice. And then just more storage right over here. And I wonder, Matt, do we have storage under the bed? Probably not. But probably it's not definitely. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, man, there it is. And there is your pedestal table. And Very nice. I like that. The piston's there. So you don't have to, like, you know. Oh, but this is the one up. I always break. But you can only break so many of them until you realize what the heck's going on. Well, Andrea, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is on this motorhome, and we will let everybody know. But before we do, it's now time to give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Uh, uh, let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay. And I have one. You go first. It's pretty hard for me because I really, really do like these a Talk lot. to me. I don't like this. At okay, all. why is that? Uh, it's very hard to get to. Yep, 100%. I, this is in the way. Yep. I, I don't know how it can be solved. Oh, yep. But, well, by not putting drawers there, because right. when you pull off that drawer, how are you supposed to, like the yeah. bottom drawer is fine, but that top one, how exactly. are you supposed to do that? And Andrea, if you noticed, I left my doors open because that was going to be my dislike oh. as well. <laughs> that was my. Yeah, it is a little 
a little weird, you know, yep. having storage there. That, that That's my little reminder to uh, make it one of my dislikes. So that's dislike number one, Andrea. Dislike number two, a motorhome this level, and this has been a problem for years. I really wish they could have had a stackable washer and dryer, okay? It, it almost, it seems like there should be, you know, right. if you took that out over there. Right. The crazy thing about this is the Fleetwood Fortis, the Holiday Rambler Invicta, is a step below this. They're tier three motorhomes. This is a tier four, and they have the stackable, but this one doesn't. And I get it. It's because you need, you, you can't put this straight down. You know what? I, I would sacrifice with a tilt of view bed. Yeah. Like, and we like how the bed doesn't flip up, but I, I would make that sacrifice. I think they could have put it over here. They could have done something. Yeah. They could have done something. So, Andrea, that's number two. And then, you know what? Number three. Oh, I have a number three, and this is very silly. Talk to me. Uh, I believe that this really should have an ice maker and water filter. Perfect. I mean, this is a high. This is a higher end motor problem. Yeah. And you know. That's what people I want. I like ice makers. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. But... And and I will say, just the uh, countertop right there is very heavy, so that's a good yes. combo. Okay. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it, Andrea. Now it's time for three things. We love about it. Why don't you go first? Oh my gosh, where do I begin? Go! Oh, I, I just love... Okay, so I really do love the dinette. Yes. And it's, it's our favorite dinette because it is the most comfortable and it is the easiest to put down for a bed. No time at all. Yes, and the storage underneath there, yes. the comfortability of it is very, very Absolutely. nice. Andre, that's number one. Number two, I'm going to say the cabinetry and the blinds. The MCD Daytime and Privacy Shades is top of the line and just the way the cabinetry looks in here just the way holiday ramblers and fleetwoods are always designed is always top notch and they always look good and, and here's the thing some of its competitors respectfully you guys know who i'm talking about they're a little old-fashioned when it comes to their cabinetry and colors so i like how fleetwoods able to or holiday ramblers able to keep up with the times but still keep that quality they always know? have really pretty interior yes okay. so that's number two you guys i have to give them props for the storage in here yes for his this is a smaller motorhome yep but for as small as it is you have amazing storage on the exterior and the interior very so they good did a really good job yes well andre do you know what time it is it's, it's now time, time for the, the msrp, MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. msrp on this motorhome here is $227,745, Andrea, MSRP. But as Andrea mentioned, we are now partnered with RV Retailer, which is a nationwide network of dealerships. So guys, it doesn't matter if you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California, we have a Holiday Rambler slash Fleetwood dealership close to you. So if you're interested in buying this unit, go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out that contact tab. Me and Will will personally work with you, oversee that you guys find the right dealership close to you, and quite frankly, get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the whole RV industry. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to yes. say? Yes! Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Holiday Rambler does read all the comments. Yes. So they want to see what you have to say. Um, I hope everybody is safe and well, and... Yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.